Hello folks, goodbye Glenn. And today we're at the Showboat Casino in Atlantic City for HorrorCon. Meeting up with some old friends. Gonna have a good time. Are you totally excited about today? Well, my back is killing me, so... Yeah? Yes. So what does that have to do with the event? It's getting better, so once it actually gets better, yes, I'm going to be excited to go. Right on. Got Dragula from the Monsters. I'm not exactly sure if this is the original. I did see the original when I was in uh, Las Vegas years ago. You make this stuff? Yep, all of it. So tell me a little bit about your uh, your stuff. So most of it's either 3D printed or laser cut. Uh -huh. I do a lot of custom work. Pretty much anything you can imagine I can make for you. Uh, uh -huh. Like if you want a comfortable figurine but you don't want to pay hundreds of dollars for it, I can print something for you and paint it for you. Uh huh. These light boxes, I do custom orders on too. Pretty much anything you can imagine. And where do we find you? Uh, OneHappyMouse.com and I also have Instagram at OneHappyMouse. OneHappyMouse.com. Awesome. Thanks, boss. Appreciate it. No problem. Still wicked early, so a lot of the vendors aren't opened yet. But I don't know. We're going to be here all day, so let's see. Troma. I love the Eddie masks. I could definitely spend some money on Eddie masks. Captain Spaulding. This is a booth up my alley. Viking horns. A lot of Norse stuff. These plaques are definitely. I like to believe. I always love that picture. Tell me a little bit about your, uh, what you do. Well, my name is Allie. I run Bohemian Sovereign. It's a mixture of modern macabre. It's punk grunge. It's whatever fits your fancy. I try to make something cool for everyone. Uh -huh. We've got resin trays, funky earrings, bone jewelry, magnets, bags, you name it. Awesome. And I'm like a flannel. All different, all one kind. I love your stuff. Thank you so much. Where can we find you? Uh, on Etsy, on Instagram, and Bohemian underscore Sovereign. And just take a look and keep in touch with me. All right, thanks guys, I appreciate it. Thanks. Hand crocheted. Nice.
Michael Myers on a teddy bear. A lot of empty space this year. Jackpot party progressive. Don't know what that means. But we're going through. What's going on? Tell me a little bit about your stuff. So we're never more designs fans first and foremost, so the thing that we try to do is design stuff that we like and we just hope that everybody else does too. So you make all this stuff? Yep. And where are you from? Uh, we're from Tom's River, New Jersey. Oh, Tom's River. Yeah. This is right up the way. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Unlike Vegas, it is a different experience, more of a seaside attraction town. However, compared to its counterpart out west, most of Atlantic City has seen better days. Most of the casinos, such as the showboat, are run down and lack the former glory that they once had. They're dirty, dated, and just not cool like Las Vegas is. Does this make Atlantic City not a place worth going? No. It's still quite an interesting place and a lot of fun if you go down there. But if you're accustomed to Vegas and the glitz and the glamour and the cleanliness and the satisfaction, it's just not there. This casino especially just couldn't even get their act together to hold a con. And... Of course, you have the homeless people who are all up and down the boardwalk. I filmed a lot of it, but only included this one section of who I called the dancing man. He was harassing people coming up and down the boardwalk for quite some time. The once great House of Blues sits empty, and mostly nothing happens there. That about wraps up my synopsis of this whole thing. Well, I'm definitely glad I came out, even if this was smaller than I expected. And yeah, my ears are still bothering me, but I'm making myself go out and do things. That was uh, the con here in AC. What can I say? It was uh, pretty underwhelming. As far as they go, it was one of the smallest and least to do. But yet, it was still a good time, all in all. Got to see some old friends. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the little bell. So when I drop a new video, you get a notification. Once again, this is Good Guy Glenn. Thanks for watching. What do you think so far? I think that there's a lot of authors here and that's really good. And I have my Powerade. And yeah, this is a night on the town with my Powerade. I found Edgar Allan Poe earrings so, and mom has my money. So actually mom, cover me for a second.